Okay, so we're going to wrap up the H or the CSS. Um, one thing that I want to teach you how to do is like, if you're like, you get through some of your coding and you're like, oh, as I'm looking at my website, I really don't like, um, I have this fun font for my H2s, but I really don't like this font in my H1. What do I do if I want to alter something that maybe I've already coded? We already have this coding section. Would I make a new selector for the H1? Nope. You can't have a duplicate section. So there's only one section for the body, one for the header, one for all your image code. So you would come back up either at the bottom after this one or before the first one. Either space would be fine. You create a new line using your enter key and I would type what I want now. So I'm gonna do font family and I'm gonna put quotations. Remember American keyboard, the US keyboard and I'm gonna type out Calibri. And now if I hit, oh, and I need to hit the, oh, it messed up my whole thing, the semicolon. And now I see I have a much more rounded font that matches with my other font. So that's how we come in and add something maybe to a section that we've already coded. Okay. So now we're going to go down at the bottom of our code. We finished up the H2 yesterday. So I'm now going to create a new space on line 29 here. And I'm going to begin with my next selector. My next selector is going to be for the P. I'm going to open it and I'm going to type out a font and I'm going to do size and I'm going to do 50 pixels or 25 pixels. That changes the font size of my paragraph. Ooh, 25, not two. Okay, that should change the size of my font. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, copy and paste all the code that I'm going to give you in a second because none of this is really new stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and I am going to copy from my already done one from paragraph down. Copy. And I'm going to come here just like you can do with the code I'm going to provide you with if you were absent. Um, so here is all the good code. This is what my final website should look like. Okay, with these colors all the way down to line 49. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to turn it in. Uh, you're going to come into Schoology and you're going to see an assignment called Your Coding Images Flamingo Assignment. You're going to go ahead and click on that assignment and it's going to look like four Google Slides. Four Google Slides. I'm going to go open my teacher copy of it um, so that you can see me on mine. Turn it in. Yours will be in Schoology. Great. Go ahead and open up that file. You have four slides and mine is going to look like copy of student copy. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is on slide one, you're going to paste just your HTML code. So you should close out your coding panel. So I'll show you how to do that you're going to push this panel to the side you know, and drop it off, click, okay? And zoom out, control and minus, so that I can see all the way from the top, I want my HTML index up, top with doc type, all the way to the bottom HTML tag. So I can zoom in a little more, Oop, maybe a little out. That's perfect. So from one to 38 on my HTML, control and the key above my six, and then I'm going to paste that photo right here to the HTML photo. Same thing with my CSS. So I'm going to flip from my HTML to my style document right there. I'm going to zoom one more time out, control minus, so that I have 1 through 48 on my screen. And I'm going to paste that one to the CSS document. The next one shows me exactly what I want. It's the white link from the top of my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the top of my screen, copy, and make sure when you paste it, not only does it start with the word studio and end with the word edit, that means it's the right link, but you're going to hit enter after you paste it so that you make sure it's a blue clickable hyperlink so that Ms. Watts can go to your page. And then the final one is a zoomed out image of your final screen of what your website looks like. So if I come here to my website, hit the button, control minus to zoom out so that Ms. Watts can see the whole thing. 
control in the key above my six to take the screenshot. Okay, copy, come back to my document and paste it right there on the slide. It should look like that when you're finished. Okay, once you have all of that done, you're gonna turn your project in for grading um, and that's it.